Hello everyone, it's uh, Dennis here. I'm going to meet with uh, my client and uh, while I'm driving I decided to make uh, a video for you and in this video I want to discuss with you the topic um, rent, rent versus uh, buying. So what is uh, a better uh, solution for you? Uh, and uh, let's discuss the unrecoverable cost of both of the options and the benefits um, as well. So the unrecoverable cost for rent is quite uh, straightforward. So whenever, whatever you're paying for rent uh, is your unrecoverable cost. So let's say you're renting a property for 120,000. Uh, In uh, five years, you will spend around 600,000. And uh, this is your unrecoverable cost. Uh, you can get uh, this money back, they are gone. Uh, so with rent, as I said, it's quite easy to calculate uh, the unrecoverable cost. And when you're buying a property, it's a little bit more uh, tricky. So when you are buying a property, you need uh, to put 25% as a down payment and with some uh, additional fees for the transactions, for commission and etc. Uh, it will be like a little bit more than 30%. Uh, so your unrecoverable cost in this case is uh, a cost of uh, missing opportunity. Uh, basically, you could use this money and you can spend it uh, somewhere else. You can invest it in the stock market, you can invest it um, like, I don't know, in gold or in something else. Or like you can even just take this money and put it in your business. So uh, here the unrecoverable cost is missing opportunity. And actually it can be a quite big uh, cost uh, because uh, uh, there is a famous example that uh, if you could uh, invest $1,000 20 years back in Amazon, you could become a millionaire by now. And uh, there are quite a few uh, examples like this, but uh, we should not forget that uh, there are thousands and thousands of companies who went bankrupt and uh, a lot of people lost absolutely everything on the stock, uh, stock market. Uh, so um, there is an opportunity to make money, but uh, chances to lose uh, money as well are quite high. Same thing is related to the business. So you, you could spend this money on, uh, uh, on your business, uh, but um, if you're not a really good uh, entrepreneur, or maybe you are not lucky uh, enough, you as well can, uh, can lose everything. 90% of the companies uh, are closed uh, after five years. So it's not a very good uh, statistics. Uh, still, I'm not saying that you should not open the company, should, still you should uh, take a risk. Uh, but if you have a chance to own the property, and um, uh, if you're renting right now, it's a very good decision to, to buy, in my opinion. And um, if you talk about the benefits, so the benefits of renting, the main benefits of renting is that you can, uh, you're more flexible with uh, moving. Uh, like uh, it's easier for you to, to change uh, places. Like if you decide to change the area or you decide to uh, upsize or downsize. Uh, but it's, uh, it's not uh, that uh, important benefit because if you own a property, you still can rent it and uh, move to, to a new place and rent there. Uh, but let's, let's keep it as a benefit uh, for rent. Uh, while if you own a property, first of all, you will pay less uh, as the monthly install installment for the mortgage uh, than you will pay for, for rent. And uh, with years, you keep on building the equity uh, in, uh, in your property. So in our case, you spent 600,000 dirhams in five years uh, while you were renting. If you were paying this money for mortgage, part of this money would stay uh, in the property and uh, you will keep on building your uh, equity over there. And uh, let's not forget that these years uh, mortgage payments are going down and uh, rent is going up. So it's as well an important point. And um, one more thing that I think is important that uh, as usually people who rent, uh, they end up spending their uh, like investment money not on the stock or somewhere else, but they're just investing it on entertainment. So I think it's a very wise decision to save money for the down payment and uh, uh, buy something for yourself. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below and uh, oh, feel free to get in touch with me if you want to discuss something related to the real estate and don't forget to leave a like under this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.